The years that we live, the minutes and the hours that we spend, what we receive from Allah. God sent me her love from the heavens. She was the love of my life and the mother of my children. This was a woman who believed in her father. She understood that the road that we're traversing is a difficult one and it's a perilous one. And she pursued that path together with her mother Khadija and her father Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She looks up to the heavens and she says, Oh Allah, build for me with you a palace in Jannah and replace this palace that I've sacrificed for your sake with a palace in Jannah. So Allah opened up the skies and she was able to see her palace in Jannah and she laughed. And Allah says when she finally gave birth, she gave birth to a girl. And she says to Allah, I've given birth to a girl and, and a boy is not the same as a girl. Allah already knows what she gave birth to. Oh Maryam, Allah has chosen you, Allah has purified you and Allah has chosen you over all of the women of the world. The greatest in honor and rank, the one whom the Prophet ﷺ declared that he loved her the most, none other than Aisha binti Abi Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anha, who is known as Ummul Mu'mineen, the mother of the believers radiallahu anha. Back then, when there was no standard, when people didn't know right from wrong, before the message of Islam even came, people who were living in darkness, he's a lady who knew that, knew how to deal with people how to give people their rights, how to not offend people, how to be just with people. She's Sawda, Bintu Zama, Bintu Qais al qurashi al amiriya Al-Sawwama, Al-Qawwama, the one who used to fast a lot and the one who used to pray a lot. Hafsa, Bintu Umar, Ibn al-Khattab. As for your children, they will be mine. I will take care of them. So she says, okay, she accepted the proposal, got married. Instead of being known as Ummu Salama, which means the mother of Salama, she became known as Ummul Mu'mineen. There was no lady that had a greater favor upon her tribe, more than Juwaliya radiallahu anha. She became Muslim and she married the Rasul and then hundreds of her tribe were freed because of that. So she has the greatest favor on her tribe. Now Zainab used to go to, out to the, the rest of the wives of the Prophet and say to them, you know, you were married to the Prophet through your fathers or through your wali, through your guardian. But I was married to the Prophet by Allah. From above, seven heavens. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has married me to his Prophet When her husband came back to her with a new face, she could smell alcohol coming from his mouth. He couldn't stand the tests. Said, either you change your religion or I divorce you. She chose Islam and divorced him. When the glad tidings came to her that the Prophet وسلم, is extending his hand to marry her, she couldn't believe it.